Must an employer check the background of a potential employee before making a hiring decision? Malorny v. B&L Motor Freight Incorporated considers tort liability for negligent hiring. Edward Harbour applied for a position as an over-the-road truck driver with B&L Motor Freight. Because over-the-road truck drivers haul freight long distances, they're away from home for extended periods. B&L's position offered a truck outfitted with a sleeping compartment. The application asked whether the potential employee had any vehicular offenses or other criminal convictions. Harbour answered no to both questions. B&L did some investigation into Harbour's background. It verified that he had no driving offenses. However, B&L didn't verify Harbour's criminal background. Harbour had been convicted of violent sex crimes. Less than a year before, he was arrested for sodomizing two teenage hitchhikers while driving a truck for another company. B&L hired Harbour and gave him a company truck with a cabin. It also provided written instructions on the position. Specifically, the company prohibited drivers from picking up hitchhikers in a company truck. Harbour hit the road in his company truck and picked up 17-year-old hitchhiker Karen Malorny. In the truck sleeping compartment, Harbour repeatedly raped and assaulted her. Malorny escaped and notified police. Harbour was later convicted and sentenced to 50 years imprisonment. Malorny sued B&L, claiming its negligence led to her assault. She claimed the company negligently hired Harbour by failing to investigate his criminal background. B&L claimed it had no duty to conduct a criminal background check and moved for summary judgment. The trial court denied the motion and concluded that B&L had a duty to investigate Harbour's criminal background. The trial court permitted B&L to file an interlocutory appeal, an appeal taken before the matter has reached a final judgment. The Illinois Appellate Court reviewed the case.